Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Rhino Rack Dome 1300 awning right here on a 2014 Toyota Prius V. So I always joke about how the V in Prius V is for versatility and that's because you can use this as a family car, it has great MPGs, but you can also use it for car camping and fake overlanding. So that's what we have set up here. The Rhino Rack 1300 awning is an awning that could be used off the side or off the back and I'll talk about which one I prefer for the Prius V and why. So this awning adds about 80 inches to the side of my car, which is great if you want to enjoy this shade to the side. Now the reason I didn't put this out to the back of the car, which you can, is because of how much space there is from my hatch to my rear crossbar. So I lose about 30 inches of that awning. I'm still able to open up my hatch, so that is still an option for you if that's what you want. But this way, I get more out of our larger awning. I do like how out of the way it is though. Notice how I have it mounted to the overhang of my roof rack. So if I have a roof basket or a roof box or other items here on the roof rack, I still have space for them. I don't really take away space from those other accessories. Also, I'm able to open and close my doors without any interference at all. I've also tried driving around with it both ways, one where it's designed to go off the back and this way where it goes off the side. Off the back, I noticed a distinct change in wind drag. Not so much wind noise, but it felt like it had to work a little bit more to get over that resistance. So off the side is the best way to go if you want to get the best MPGs. Now the install process is pretty simple as long as you have the right roof rack. In fact, I was able to do it all by myself, but if it's an especially windy day, I do recommend having a friend help you out just to make sure things don't fly around. I wasn't sure at first because of the curve of the roof, but it went perfectly fine. Let's take a look at that. So the first thing I do is just make sure I have the right setup that I want. So in our case here, we can put this awning off the side or off the back. Now because the Prius V has such a large back, it didn't really make it worth it to put it off the back because I lose half of the awning space. So we are going to set it off of the side. Just make sure that you have a roof rack that has T-Track channels. So with the clamps set 27 inches apart to match my roof rack, let's see how this works. Since this roof rack requires that you push down on the T-Track as you push the brackets in, it's a little tricky, but with a little bit of flexibility, you can get it in. Now get your 13 millimeter socket wrench and then tighten down those four nuts. I wasn't sure at first because of the slight angle of the Prius V's roof, but just like that, we now have the awning installed on our roof rack. It's just a matter of setting it up. So unzip your awning, make sure the tools and the instructions are out of that bag, and then you're gonna unstrap it and find those poles on the inside so you can set it up. So once you have it unfolded like this, I highly recommend getting a friend to help you out with the tent poles. That way, if a big gust of wind comes by, it doesn't come flying back towards your car. So for those struggling to get those tent poles to fit into the pocket, some things that might help is to do it when it's warm, but also make sure it's sitting out like that where it's popped out. That will give you that extra clearance to make it fit. And if you're using this on concrete like I am, make sure you have some sandbags, or in our case, a sand bucket to keep it down. So I've installed a lot of different awnings and most of them were on the Prius V2. So I like how this fits. You do need a roof rack that has a T-Track channel though, but compared to some other awnings, once they're installed to those channels, you can kind of forget about it. You don't have to worry about the install process as much. It's a very quick and easy setup. So again, I recommend mounting it off to the side. If you want it where it sits over your hatch though, off the back, that is possible too. It's gonna be a versatile awning, so it's really gonna work for you and your adventures. And that was a look at the Rhino Rack Dome 1300 awning here on the 2014 Toyota Prius V. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.